Greetings, my friends. Welcome to another Rolling Rambles, but this time it's a really, really rainy Rambles, so it might be kind of noisy. I'll clean it up as much as I can in post. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's talk about today's subject, which is Rust being in the Linux kernel. The problem with Rust being in the Linux kernel is, well, I'm not going to get into technical discussions because the bottom line on that is just that the kernel is written in C, all of it's written in C, the people who develop it are C programmers. Everybody knows how to work on it in C. Shoehorning an in, a somewhat incompatible language in there is a lot of work. It's unnecessary. If you want to write something in Rust, do it yourself from scratch. That's what Redox is. Go back to Redox. But that's the extent of the technical discussion that I'm willing to have on this subject. Because I want to cover something nobody else is covering. Not even Brian Lundu, who just, as of this recording, put out a video discussing Rust in the Linux kernel and how it's not working out very well, because apparently the only way to use Rust in the kernel is to have a nightly build that has a bunch of barely tested, unstable features, that, and a huge list of which are still missing uh, for basic kernel development. And you can argue about the maturity of the language all you want, but the problem ultimately is not the language. The problem is Rust is not what you think it is. Rust, the language, if you were looking at it purely as a programming language, it's a programming language. And yeah, sure, in an ideological way, maybe it is more pure. Maybe the, the features in it that make it so much more safe than C, maybe they do have merit on paper. But we live in the real world, and the real world is messy. The real world goes way beyond just simple paper. The, way, the real world does not care that you have a better ideal that has not been written all the way yet. Rust is not just a language. Rust is a language with a bunch of people who program in it, a bunch of people who work with it, a bunch of people who know how to use it, know what they're doing in it, and ultimately the real problem lies in the fact that these Rust programmers are almost all activist lunatics. Now, granted, it is still a programming language. It's still something that you can, at least if you really want to, view as completely politics agnostic. But the problem with Rust does boil down to politics. Any video that even remotely says anything derogatory about Rust is instantly, within a day, flooded with Rust lunatics. These fanatical weirdos that have nothing better to do than show up and say, no, uh Rust is better. And in fact, I am going to go out of my way on this video in specific and not do what I normally do where I moderate everything and allow all of the lunatic Rust stations that didn't actually watch the video to run their mouth and make fools of themselves because nothing they say will change what I am about to say. They cannot refute what I am going to say. Rust is a language, okay. That is the Bailey in the Mott and Bailey tactic. That is the independently, uh, the, the, the universally acceptable position that most people would agree with, you know, that doesn't really cause anybody any discomfort, that you can just present this position as, oh, well, you know, it's just a programming language, bro. It's, it's not an ideology. SJWs and leftists and woke tards and, lun you know, those people... That, that's not the language, bro. Why are you hating the language? Rust is just a language. Where are these Wokies that you speak of? Except the truth is, the majority of people who push Rust are, in fact, Wokies, leftists, woke scold, woke tard, social justice warrior, feminist, ideological activist, lunatics. That's a lot of buzzwords, but it is the truth. And that's ultimately the problem with it. Rust is the Marxism of programming languages. That's why you don't ever see people with Rust writing their own magical new stuff in Rust, generally speaking. Like I said, there are exceptions to the generalization, but for the most part, people who code in Rust are ideologues. They are activists, far left usually, lunatics, that are looking to inject Marxism everywhere. They are looking to take over existing projects in much the same way that video games and movies and comic books and every other form of entertainment have been attacked. 
and subsequently dragged down into this diversity, equity, and inclusion wormhole, they're looking to take projects up to and including major ones like the Linux kernel and drag them down. They are actually out to destroy these major projects so that they can rebuild them in their own image. They are agents of chaos. This is the problem with Rust. This is the problem nobody is willing to talk about publicly. Because when they do, these psychotic cancel culture fanatic lunatics descend upon them and do everything they can to shut the person up. And I'm not willing to shut up. I'm, I've got FU, um, not FU money, but I've got FU positioning. You can't really do anything to harm my income, you rust freaks. There's nothing you can actually do to stop me from making money in the ways that I do. Um, you cannot cancel me, so I don't really care. <laughs> Say what you will, I will laugh at you, point, laugh harder, and then everybody can see what you really are. But in much the same way that they take over other projects, they want to also take over existing major projects using Rust as the Trojan horse. Rust is the torpedo that enters your submarine's butthole and rips it open. So Rust is safer than C. It's better than C. Everything about Rust is superior to C. Oh, what a coincidence. Well, what about Zig? Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, <clears throat> no Zig. No, nope. Rust. Because, well, why? But, no, don't worry about Zig. Don't worry about Zig. But, but, but wasn't Zig written to be a, a directly a seer? No, 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 no. No, don't worry about Zig. Zig is just some unproven, unstable, blah, blah, blah. You know, Rust is what you need to move it everything to because it's so much safer than C. It's like C, but safer. Well, okay, but, but Zig is, is C, but safer. But Oh, no, 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 no. Just because Zig is directly written to go after C and make it better doesn't mean that you should actually use C. You need to use Rust. You need to use Rust because if you don't use Rust, then we can't shove our ideology down your throat. I mean, Rust is better than C. It does become sort of a mantra. So it's like it's like having a bunch of parrots that have learned these pre-trained phrases, screeching them all back at you. That's what it's like dealing with these Rust people. <clears throat> and the reason is that it's not about the language. None of it is about the merits of the Rust language. None of it is about the state of the Rust compiler. None of it is about technical competency. Really, technical or any other nerdy sort of evaluation has nothing whatsoever to do with the whole Rust situation. Because it's not about that for the people that are trying to shove it down the throats of Linux kernel developers and pretty much anybody else on the internet, where anywhere they can shove Rust down your throat, they will. And why do they target big projects? Because if they target big projects like browsers and kernels, then they get validation for their BS ideological language. And keep in mind, like I said, we're not discussing the technicals here, but I'm not saying Rust, the language, if viewed purely as a language, is bad. I'm saying that it is a weapon of war. It is a Trojan horse that's wrapped in Rust that's being used to go after major projects and destroy them for some Marxist communist revolution garbage. That's it. That is it. That is the problem. That is the only problem. No amount of discussion of the technical merits ultimately matters because the underlying problem is the lunatic infection that will destroy your project and is trying to destroy Linux, but they ran up against too much gatekeeping, too many barriers. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not going to just let you shove your pet language into the biggest operating system on earth without some checks and balances, without a little bit of stability guarantee, verification, you know, you, you can't just shovel it in there willy-nilly. We've got to we've got to make sure that things are gonna be okay afterwards. Oh oh crap. No, wait, they're gonna do that. Wait, they actually they actually expect us to work with them? But the whole point is to overthrow them. Get the seed in there, and then you can just say, well everything else needs to be rewritten in Rust too. And guess what? All the people who know how to write in Rust? Activist lunatics. You know why? Because writing in Rust is the chic thing to do. 
it's the thing to do if you're a leftist weirdo from the West Coast. But if you're a normie North Carolina programmer redneck like me, who's down to earth and who actually thinks things through and actually does a good job of figuring stuff out and doesn't put out stuff that completely chews up data or crashes the shit out of systems, oh no, that, that's, you know, that, that, none of this stuff matters. Uh, I'm totally fine with learning C because guess what? C is what the things I want to be able to work on are also written in. So I change in, and I adapt in order to work with what's already out there and heavily proven over the course of more decades than the home personal computer has existed, than some unproven, unstable thing that now we find out today, at least I found out through the Lunduk video, doesn't even have certain basic features required to do proper kernel development at all. So they've shoehorned this Trojan horse language in. Now it's being revealed for what it is. It's, it's unstable. It's unprepared. It does not do what they say it does. It's not ready for prime time. And it absolutely should be 100% gate kept out and not allowed in. And that's just on the technical merits. That's ignoring everything I just said. Do you really want people in control of the Linux kernel to slowly over time absorb control over the Linux kernel by forcing it, bullying it into changing things to Rust? No, you. of course you don't. It's like if you buy a new car. Not a new car, but a used car. So let's say you have a car, it's reliable, but you know one day it farts or whatever, and you go, well, I should get another car that might be more reliable or might be better, and so you go get the this new used car that's new to you. Well, the problem is it's a used car. You don't actually know anything about it. So when you first start driving it, all you can know about it is what you see from the outside. But you have to actually take it for a drive to find all of the hidden little issues that are going to affect you long term. And this is the problem with Rust. The ideological side of it is wrapped in this veneer of we just want everything to be less, uh, we don't, we just want buffer flow, buffer overflows to not happen. We just want everything to be more secure. We just want to apply the superiority of Rust to your inferior C program. The problem is that's not what they're actually doing. They really do want to take over Linux. In fact, look at the way that they framed adding Rust to the Linux kernel in the first place. They didn't come up and say Rust is better, Rust is better, Rust is better, Rust is better. They said Rust is better, but then immediately everything becomes not about Rust, but about, well, not enough people exist who know C to write in the kernel. So, and they've hyped up this bullshit lie that there's not enough people that know C and that there's a brain drain in the Linux kernel because not, nobody wants to learn C anymore, but everybody wants to learn Rust. It's the hot new language. So you have a ton of Rust programmers and you don't have very many C programmers anymore and eventually Linux is gonna die due to brain drain. Except that's bullshit. Because if you wanna code in Linux, if you wanna actually write a kernel module, you wanna fix a bug, guess what you do? You wanna guess? You learn C, you learn to code in C, Frankly, it's not even that hard. They act like C is difficult just because they need to get you into Rust, not because Rust is better, so much as because Rust is under ideological control by the majority of its users. It comes with rules lawyering. It comes with dishonest enforcement of false notions of equity and uh, false ideas about inclusion. Even though the only real equality or inclusion is of a diversity of thought and experience, not what skin color you are, not what sexuality you are, not whether or not you've decided that you're a woman today. None of that matters because when I run code, it doesn't go, this person had a, had a synthetically created vagina, so it runs better. No, it just goes, oh, hey, I'm the OSS driver and I'm gonna not check this value, divide it by zero and crash your kernel. That's actually a bug that I fixed in the Linux kernel. Was a, um, a weird OSS divide by zero crash, uh, which technically is a denial of service attack that, that I may have patched up. You know, it may have been a niche thing, but the thing is if you had OSS in your kernel and someone could find a way to trigger this bug reliably, a normal user account could completely kill your system. And yeah, I had to learn C to patch the bug. 
Oh, what a shock. You can learn C too. Anybody who can code in Rust, they can learn to code in C too. It's not that hard. In a couple months, you can be up and running great. You won't be an expert, but you can figure out how to fix stupid bugs like I did. I really want you to think about that whenever you think about Rust in the kernel or even Rust anywhere. Don't look at Rust through a technical lens. Look at it through a political, ideological lens. Look at it through the lens of, this is Marxism. This is trying to take over to destroy through the revolution so it can rebuild in, in supposedly their utopian image. If you look at it that way, all of a sudden you see Rust for the nasty, infective bacteria that it is. It's not that the language is bad, it's that the language is full of people pushing Trojan horses to your gates, trying to screw you. And if you use Rust and you like it, I'm not saying you have to stop using it. In fact, more people who are non-political in the way that they practice their programming should be using languages like Rust so that it stops being so ideologically bent. The problem is, in the Rust communities, the ideological psychopaths gatekeep other people out that would eliminate that ideology. They do the thing that us nerds should have been doing all along, gatekeeping them out. So gatekeep them out. Don't let Rust in anything. Don't use Rust in anything. It's a cancer. And besides, if you're going to use Rust, Zig exists. Rust is unstable? Yeah, Zig is unstable. But at least Zig is trying to just be a modified C with a bunch of the problems fixed, not Rust going, I am super duper superior and complicated and take forever to build everything. Use me because I, I you know, whatever. But by the way, we're going to ideologically torpedo whatever project we managed to get enough of this in because guess what? All the young, cool, far left lunatic people are using Rust. You really want that in there? No. Gatekeep out Rust from Linux, from all of it. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Take care.